like some may not be correct so if we have unity amongst all the muslim countries all the 57 muslim countries more than 2 billion muslims if there is an interpol international police there should be an islamic pole islam pole that is islamic police if we have un unity in all aspects of life and if some muslim country is breaking the law of the quran and sunnah the other muslim countries can get together and correct the muslim country why should we allow the non-muslim to interfere in the affairs of the affairs of the muslims so if we have an internal check amongst ourselves and our constitution should be quran and the say hadith if we follow this inshallah within a few years within a decade muslim country will be on the top and irrespective of what's happening today we find the question posed about the muslim leaders and the muslim countries today there is one silver lining the silver lining is that there is a hadith there is a prophecy of a beloved prophet Muhammad that towards the end of time and if you go on my facebook i have started a series of the signs of the end of the world minor signs and major signs and there are more than 80 minor signs out of which there are approximately 45 that have already occurred and there are approximately 40 that are pending not yet occurred and then there are 10 major signs but towards the end of the world a beloved prophet Muhammad prophesies that may the salam will come if al salam will come may the salam may the salam would be the leader and the muslims would rule the world for seven years that would be the golden years for the muslims and that time inshallah they will follow islam and the khilafat again would be revived and that time whether you want it or don't want it i want it or don't want it this would be the best time so there's a silver lining i only pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may we live till that time when may the salam come so that at least we will support him and a beloved prophet Muhammad has given basharat that that group of muslims that will support may the salam they have been promised paradise i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he come during our time during my time and i would be the first person to support him and would love to see how islam flourishes and we wait for the time till the time he comes we don't know how long will it take few weeks few months few years few decades allah alam what we should do we should follow quran and sunnah and see to it that we force our leaders to follow quran and sunnah and the muslims should be united on the ban of quran and say hadith inshallah again will be a superpower Take a question from the center. My question is just a, a general question. What does the Quran say about Isa coming back and Imam Mendi? And if he is to come back, now please think about it. Will he be a Sunni, Shia, or any other? So I have a question that is Isa is going to come, is Mahdi is going to come, and if he's going to come, will he be a Shia, Sunni? What will he be? Here yeah, the various hadith talking about the coming of Mahdi is salam. The Quran speaks and says that the signs of Qiyamah would be Isa salam will come. Among the signs of Qiyamah is the coming of Isa salam. It's also mentioned in Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse 116 that Isa salam says to Allah Bari Ta'ala that you be my witness. I never told them to worship me but I said, Oh Budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbuk, my Lord and your Lord. So Isa salam is going to come, there are no less than 70 say hadith saying that Isa is going to come again. Similarly, Mahdi is salam. So before the Qiyamah, they're going to come. Regarding will they be Shia, will they be Sunni, what will they be? They will be Muslims. I had given the talk on unity in the Muslim Ummah in Manchester. I don't intend repeating here. It's a long talk. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 67, Abraham is salam was not a Jew or a Christian, he was a Muslim. Quran says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 52, Isa alayhi salam was a Muslim. Quran says in Surah Hajj chapter 22 verse number 78, that Allah has called you, means us, as Muslims. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 64, shadu bianna muslimun. Say ye bear witness that ye are Muslims. Allah says in Surah Fusilah chapter number 41 verse number 33, call a innani minna muslimin. Say that you are a Muslim. Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. No less than 37 times, Allah uses the word Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. 22 times as Muslimun and 15 times as Muslimin.
So the best is, the best label that Allah has given us, that is Muslim. And Isa alayhi salam also, and Mahdi alayhi salam, inshallah, they'll come as Muslims. And a very good morning. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Aina Azra binti Nasruddin and I'm from Permata Pinta College. Um, my question is, uh, as you all know, the Dajjal will come before the Qiyamah. And my question, how and why the Dajjal gain the power to control the world and why it is chosen? Thank Sorry, you. can you repeat the question? That what will come on Qiyamah? The Dajjal. The Dajjal. Dajjal, yes. Dajjal will come on Kiyama and? And why, why Dajjal gained the power to control the world? Why Dajjal has been given the power to control the world? Yeah. What this is the question that there are various hadith talking about Dajjal, that before Kiyama Dajjal will come, and why will Dajjal be given the power to control the world? In short, the answer is Almighty God wants to test us. You will ask me, why did God Almighty give power to the Satan? You know, the, the Satan is powerful, nothing compared to Allah. But when Iblis asked Allah in Surah Baqarah, that please give me respite, respite means delay my punishment. If you delay, I will lay astray the people who follow you. Allah says, I give you respite. You think you're great, I give you respite. You will never be able to lead astray my follower. Those who are not my followers, yet you can. So similarly, this life sister is a test for the hereafter. So Dajjal is another test that will come. And there are many hadiths talking about the coming of the Dajjal before Qiyamah. Why Allah gave power? Allah is giving power to see that whether you follow Allah's commandment or not. This is the test. You know, you'll ask, why did the teacher give me such a difficult question? Difficult question, more difficult the question. And if you answer, the higher is the reward. So here, Allah wants to test who is going to follow me or not. So the power is given to the enemy many times to test you. And more powerful the enemy, the more difficult the test. For example, if you appear for a normal graduation of BA Arts, and you pass, you become a graduate. But when you pass a medical examination, you get doctor, DR in front of your name. Because to pass medicine is more difficult than to pass a normal graduation in arts. So more difficult test, more difficult reward. So same way, maybe Allah wants to give you Janate Firdos. You know, one is Jannah passing. Janate Firdos is a higher grade. So these, Allah is giving all these as a test. So Allah is given power. So all his followers, even if they come across a powerful enemy, yet they'll be steadfast. And they'll pass the test. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhurat dawan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Enriching the Islamic ethos in your life. Introducing Peace Mobile, the solution for humanity. The quality par excellence Islamic smartphone. 4.63 inch LED screen. Slimmer body, premium finish, stylish design, dual SIM, 32 GB SD card plus 4 GB internal memory, dual core processor, 5 megapixel autofocus camera, live peace TV, English, Urdu and Bangla. Over 80 hours of Dr. Zakir Naik's videos. Over 50 authentic Islamic applications. Over 100 Islamic wallpapers. Over 200 Islamic ringtones. Islamic nasheeds. Books on Islam and comparative religion of Dr. Zakir Naik. Living life easy and convenient. Communicating with technology par excellence. Fostering your innate relationship relationship with your creator enriching your life on the move moments islamically secured experience the difference peace mobile the solution for humanity for inquiries on wholesale and retail purchases log on to www.peaceammunition.com <laughs>